1996, the Brisbane Bears and the Dockers were locked in a low-scoring encounter at the Gabba. Fremantle held a narrow lead before Sean Hart had this chance to score. No one is able to take it. So oh! The Blues and the Power battled for supremacy at Football Park. When the final siren sounded, Carlton led by a point, but Peter Burgoyne had this shot for goal. Peter Burgoyne, he's done it! Right at home, Peter! In 2005, the Saints and the Dockers battled it out at Subiaco Oval. Justin Longmuir thrilled the big crowd with this shot after the siren. In comes Longmuir to take his kick. Ice cool, ice cool. Fremantle have won after the siren. Look at that. Way to go, Justin. In 2007, Port Adelaide led at every change against Geelong. Just as the power sends victory, the Cats hit the lead. Edwards got it, fades away through. It's a goal. Geelong in front. Dominic Cassisi silenced the home crowd as the visitors triumphed. Cassisi to win it. Cassisi does win it. Oh! In 2010, Brent Harvey celebrated his 300-game milestone as he led North Melbourne to victory over West Coast at Subiaco Oval. Boomer, you're a beauty! There have been plenty of memorable highlights in this round. In 2006, Eddie Betts kicked the goal of the year against Collingwood. By Betts, kept it alive. The impossible goal! Goal of the year, Eddie! In 2010, Liam Jarrah took mark of the year against Port Adelaide at Amy Stadium. Jarrah! Unbelievable! Oh, 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 that, that is the mark of the year. Oh.